welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I'm so glad you could stop by today. Spring is officially here and it brings new life and renewed energy. And it's time to open up the house and let in the fresh air and clean. <laughs> There's a few cleaning tasks that I need to take care of every year. And today I'm checking a few things off my list. I always like to start with the daily chores so that I can get them out of the way and one of the things that helps get me going is to reset the house for the day and once I get up and moving I use the momentum to take care of the rest. left on the tree and I always hate to see the last of the oranges go because it's a long wait for the next orange but the tree is starting to bloom so I need to pull off the rest of the oranges so the tree can put all its energy into next year's crop. We have oranges to eat from January through March but the last month is when the oranges are the sweetest and we always have too many oranges so there's plenty to share with friends and family. Oh, oh, oh. What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight? If you still love me, I can wait, I can wait And remember this We could have been stardust Same world but without us Something made us, made us find each other out there Made us realize we're more than just stardust I need to rinse the dirt off the oranges, so I'll just put them in the sink and I'll use a kitchen brush to remove anything that doesn't rinse off in the water. And I'll be out there looking for someone like you. I need to strip the linens from the bed and get them in the washing machine so that I can take the bed apart. Once a year I take the bed apart and clean it and I'll vacuum the mattress and clean the bed frame and I'll also wash the mattress covers and change the linens to refresh the space. It's a good idea to flip your mattress and rotate it at least once a year to help it wear evenly but the mattress that we have has one side so we can't flip the mattress over so instead I just rotate the mattress 180 degrees when I put it back on the bed. I had originally planned to put new sheets on the bed so that I didn't have to wait for the sheets that I took off to wash and dry <laughs> but I forgot about the fitted sheet that I used to cover the box spring and I only have the one from an old set so I'm gonna have to wait for everything to wash and dry anyway. Later, when you think go you 
somehow still remain Remember the time I told you the way that I felt That I'd be lost without you and never find myself I almost forgot I stored the mirror under the bed and I wanted to update the bedroom so I replaced the mirror over the dresser and I'm still not quite sure what I want to do with the old mirror so I'm just going to keep it under the bed until I decide what to do with it. So I just need to dust it off and move it out of the way so that I can vacuum. So find me at the rainbow's end. There's a lot of dust and allergens that can accumulate in places that are hard to reach or out of sight, and I'm just using a vacuum to clear away the excess before I clean it. I'm using Methods Wood Cleaner on the bed frame, and I don't use it on the rest of the bedroom furniture. The bed has a urethane finish, so it's safe to use a wood cleaner, but the rest of the furniture has an oil finish. So I like to use lemon oil once or twice a year to condition and protect the wood. I'm not going to be oiling the furniture today. Sometimes I like to spread out the annual and semi-annual cleaning tasks so that I only have to spend an hour or so cleaning, and sometimes I like to get as much done in one day as I can, and it just depends on how much time I have and how I feel that day. So let me know in the comments if you're one of those people who likes to do all of their spraying and cleaning at once or do you like to do a little bit at a time? That you want to be mine Wherever we end up I know we'll be I took advantage of my husband while he was in the room and I had him help me put the box spring back on the bed, but the fifth sheet that I used to cover the box spring is still being washed, so I have a little bit more of a wait before I can put the bed back together. I washed the quilt early this morning so I just need to fold it and put it away and I'll use a different quilt when I make up the bed. We have a self-cleaning oven and it takes several hours for the oven to clean and cool down so I ran the self-clean cycle the day before and today I just need to wipe down the residue that gets left behind and I've heard a lot of people say they're reluctant to use the self-cleaning feature on the oven because of the odor but as long as I don't let the oven get too bad there isn't much of an odor but I do like to clean the oven when it's warm enough to open the windows and still cool enough not to heat up the house and that way I can air out the house while I'm cleaning. We've had KitchenAid appliances in the kitchen for about 12 years now, and so far we haven't needed any major repairs, but there have been some problems. The glass on the oven door shattered while I was cooking food in the oven, and the enamel is also starting to chip off the bottom of the oven. The glass doesn't seem to get as clean as the rest of the oven, so I'm using a razor blade to carefully scrape off anything still stuck to the glass. And you want to make sure to use a razor blade that is in good condition, because if it's bent or chipped in any way, it can scratch the glass. Was it 
It's time to transfer the sheets over to the dryer and I wash the sheets separately from the quilt and blankets because the sheets dry in about half the time so I'll be able to put the bed back together sooner. And I'll start another load of quilt and blankets so I can get them folded and put away today. Most of the time I wash the whites in hot water and I just use laundry detergent, but I also like to use OxyClean on occasion to help brighten the whites. And I also like to use vinegar in place of the fabric softener and the vinegar helps to remove deposits that can make the fabrics hard and dingy. Something else I like to do every year is clean behind the fridge and I can't remember if I actually did this last year, so it may have been two years since the last time I cleaned behind the fridge. Tell me I'm be honest Tell me should I know That you believe in me So painfully quiet and slow I try my best to move While I have the fridge pulled out, I'll clean the floor and the walls, and I'll also use a damp microfiber cloth to clean the top and the sides of the refrigerator. I do like the features of this fridge. The shelves are adjustable and removable, so it's easy to clean, but the fridge also used to have a rattle whenever the compressor turned on, and fortunately, my husband was able to fix it. the vacuum to get rid of as much dust as I can so that it doesn't turn into a muddy mess when I wipe it down with a wet cloth. It's an extra step but it'll save a lot of time. The tape that secures the hoses to the fridge and keeps the wires off the floor is starting to peel off the back of the fridge and I'm going to pull off the tape and I'll re-tape when the fridge is clean. And now that I finished wiping everything down, I can mop the floor and clean up the spills that have managed to leak under the fridge. It 
it's much harder to pull the fridge out than to push it back into place, but it's tricky to get the fridge lined up so that it goes back where it belongs. And the last thing I need to clean on the fridge is the front grill cover. And since I have the cordless mop out, I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of the floors. to clean the grill on the intake return and while I have the table pulled out I have a few other things that I need to do the cords that have been dangling behind this table are making me just a little crazy <laughs> so I'm finally going to add a cover to the socket and tie up the cords so that they're out of sight I'm just using an adhesive hook and loop tape to secure the cord to the back of the console table. That way I can keep the cords contained but I can still remove it if I need to move the table around. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. This vent pulls in air from the house and it pulls all of the dust and the debris along with it. And so now that I have the cords out of the way, I'm just using a soft bristle brush and an all-purpose cleaner to clean off the grate that covers the intake return. I give the floors a thorough cleaning once a week and I'll use stone cleaner and I'll mop the high traffic areas in between cleanings. So while I have the cordless mop out, I fill the tank with hot water so that I can give the floors a light cleaning. I hope who I am is enough for you if I'm giving you my love. The sheets and mattress protectors are finally dry, so while I'm waiting for the floors downstairs to dry, I can put the bed back together, and I'll rotate the mattress a full turn, and I'll flip over the mattress topper. If 
beautiful outside this morning when I opened up the windows but the wind picked up a little bit later and as you can see the curtains are blowing in front of the camera <laughs> and you'll also see Ace attached to my leg as I finish up in the bedroom he doesn't like the sound of the wind so he came to me for reassurance so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of Wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of The method that I like to use to get the comforter back inside the duvet is to line up the duvet inside out along with the comforter and then tie all the corners together. Then all I have to do is reach inside and pull the duvet right side out. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. starting to warm up and we probably won't be needing the comforter for very much longer so I'm going to leave it folded at the end of the bed and we may get a few more nights where the quilt isn't enough to keep us warm and we'll easily be able to pull the comforter up if we need it. I 
work is done I just have a few things that I need to put back together electrical cords are the bane of my existence and I use different cable wraps and clips to tame the mess and to keep the cords tidy and I'll add a link to some of my favorites in the description box and right now I'm just attaching command hooks to the console table to keep the cords lined up with the table legs That's all for today's video and I hope it motivates you to kick off your spring cleaning. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Seems so strong until it falls, the fire, the strong.